Operating electro-permanent magnets is a serious business. Our engineer will give you step-by-step -step directions for handling the electro-permanent magnetic lifter. Step 1. Put the lifting ring of the electro-permanent magnetic lifter on the driving hook and connect the heavy-duty connector of the power supply. Step 2. Turn on the power switch of the electro-permanent magnetic lifter. At the same time, the power indicator on the control panel and the status indicator on the beam will be on, which means that the electronic control system can operate normally. Step 3. Move the electro-permanent magnetic lifter to the center of the plate, operate the crane to make the lifter reach the ground until the landing detection takes effect. Step 4. Adjust the lifter's magnet grouping and magnetic force knob to the appropriate gear. Step 5. Turn the remote control emergency stop button clockwise, press the start button to start the remote control and press the MAG button. The status indicator green light flashes. The electro-permanent magnetic lifter is in the magnetization state and the magnet adsorbs the contact steel plate. Step 6. Control the crane to rise, separate the current steel plate being lifted from other steel plates by about 20 cm. Then press the full MAG button after separation, and the status indicator green light is always on. At this moment, the magnetic force of the lifter reaches the maximum, and you can control the crane to transfer the steel plate. Step 7. When lifting the steel plate to the destination, operate the crane to make the lifter land until the landing detection. Then, the DMAG operation can carry out. Press the lock and DMAG buttons to demagnetize, and the status indicator light will become red and always on, which means the electro-permanent magnet lifter loses its magnetism. Now the lifter can be separated from the steel plate and the crane returns to carry out the next working cycle. Step 8. When you have finished using the electro-permanent magnet lifter, you can remove the spreader ring in the demagnetized state and turn off the power, unplug the heavy-duty connector and install it on the lifter's designated no-load socket. Alternatively, you can operate the whole process via the control panel with the same steps as above. Here are the full directions for handling the electro-permanent magnetic lifter. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.